Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, something a little bit different today. I keep doing this, I keep having like um, loads of little mini side projects that I never film. Um, so I think I'm going to film this one because it's quite a big one and I'm really excited about it. Um, I finally bought myself a new front bumper. When I say new, I don't mean new, I mean it's well used, but it's in really, really good condition. These bumpers fade, and because of the type of plastic there is, it's that automotive grade plastic. Um, people don't really know what to do with them, and then people paint them, which is really unfortunate because that's what's happened to this one. Um, but it's alright, people just do what they gotta do, so it's, it's all good. I am gonna attempt to make this bumper almost like new. It's in really, really good nick right now. It hasn't got any cracks or scrapes or bumps or anything like that. It's just got a layer of weird paint on it and faded plastic underneath. Obviously, these will have to go as well. Those are not original. Um, and yeah, there's like some weird tape and glue and whatever else underneath, all of that will go. Um, it's hard to show on camera how, what it actually looks like, but, um, so like here you can see the paint and the faded plastic underneath but I think I will be able to fix all of this up. When working with things like this it just it has to be cleaned up, it needs to be clean. I need to degrease it, clean it and then we'll move on to the next step. The next step is going to be stripping that paint off um, and I'm hoping I'm going to try a couple of different things but um, I'll take you along with me because um, yeah, I'm so excited about finally finding a bumper in good condition. It's just I'm really unfortunate that it's painted but We'll be able to um, get it back to some kind of normality. Um, yeah, first things first, we need to give it a really good wash. Step one, complete. Uh, it's relatively clean. So I think step two is gonna be not the paint, but removing all this sticky stuff. There's like some silicon in there and some other kind of weirdness. So I'm um, just gonna let this drip dry just for like two minutes. And then we're gonna go to the struggling boys garage and use our favorite tool in the entire world, the heat gun. I'll see you there. Boom, and just like that, we're in a much more familiar setting. Blops. And bleak news. First of all, let's take a closer look at this bumper and um, and then we'll um, and then we'll address some of the issues. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, it actually looks pretty decent on camera but let me bring you in a little bit closer so as you can see it's in really really good shape but there is a layer of weird paint on it and the plastic underneath has faded um, so for example here you can see really well so that's the paint that we're gonna attempt to take off and, and yeah and the plastic underneath I'm gonna try to restore to like perfect OEM quality. That's my goal anyway, we'll see how I do. But um, step one, I need to get rid of all of this. There is like weird silicon weirdness going on here and just all kinds of crud. Like I need to remove all of this before I do anything else. So just a bit of gentle heat and we'll see what I can do.
splits into a few pieces. Just makes it a lot easier to work with and just to deal with. I was going to heat it up, gently heat up the paint and then just flake it off. That was my plan, but in the process of messing around with it, I've got a few different chemicals and stuff. Whilst taking the sticky stuff off, I have this tar off stuff that's really, really good to like remove any type of sticky residue, tar or anything from anything. It works really, really well. And it seemed as if it started taking the, some of that paint off. Then I thought, we we'll have some paint thinners here, obviously. And I decided to try to just give it a quick rub of some paint thinners and it started taking the paint off straight away. It seems like it's a very thin layer of not the best paint on this. There's a texture on this plastic and I don't want to melt that texture. So I'm going to play around with the heat gun a little bit more, see if, if it actually flakes any paint off. If the paint doesn't want to come off that way, I will use the paint thinners because literally as soon as I apply it, wipe it off, it takes the paint off straight away. outside thinners I'm sitting here it's not good this is just not good I'm gonna go outside and do it so method for the minute is to using some thinners and these handy dandy well, yeah. patient cleansing dry wipes oh, all right oh, oh, stay in school kids don't do thinners weird Definitely going outside. Oh, a bit of a flick in my eye as well, and that wasn't very nice. So that's one corner that has been my sort of experiment, just to see what what my method should be for taking the paint off. It seems to be doing a good job, and I'm not I'm not destroying the texture of the, of, uh, of, the, of the plastic at all. I'm doing it in passes. I'm just wet wetting the tissue in thinners, wiping it down, then wiping it with a paper towel, seeing how I'm doing and then just doing it over and over again um, until I'm happy with, um, with the finish. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, thinners, mate. I'm definitely doing this outside. Oof. Let's go outside. Oh my God. Oh, getting hot. My own supply. super super happy with this bumper um, the paint came off nicely basically you just have to keep wiping it keep wiping it keep wiping it with the thinners until the rags that you're using come back clean and I've managed to get all of the paint off and as you can see this is why the bumper was painted because this plastic is completely faded yeah I'm gonna leave it alone for a second and I shall return to it make it look A1 also I'm pretty sure pretty sure we might have a mouse in here which is just not even like what the hell's going on uh. basically all plastics are ma made from oil right hydrocarbons I'm not a scientist or anything but this is just some basic knowledge all right if you introduce a little bit of heat to them they start melting the oily properties of the hydrocarbons at that temperature um, come up to the surface and basically rejuvenate the plastic. This is very simple terms, I hope. This is like understandable. It's like very straightforward, I feel like, to understand. Your faded old plastic, if you heat it up, 
it will go back to its original OEM tasty goodness. We'll start on this bit. As you can see, super faded. Super sad looking. Just a little bit of alcohol before we start, just to make sure there's no random weird stuff on the piece before we uh, before we start applying heat to it. And it's actually coming up really nice and clean. So see how um, when, when the plastic is wet, this is how I want it to look. Like this sort of color. I don't want it to be this shiny, but I want this color. All right, low setting on a heat gun and then just slowly introduce a bit of heat to the whole piece. We don't want to burn it, that's the biggest thing. You don't want to melt the texture that exists on this plastic. Yeah, you must be able to see it. The color is changing, all the gray bits. Some stuff, like here for example, we know it's clean, but it's just a little, it's just a little scuff. Um, sometimes things need like a few passes of doing this. So you have to do it and then do it again and then do it again and just do it in several stages. But as you can see, it just goes back to, uh, goes back to its original color. And if you do end up with um, like irregularities or little imperfections and stuff, I personally, I am 100% happy with that. This was never a perfect piece, even from the factory. These things come with, you can see the, the mold lines and all kinds of little imperfections and it's just, um, it's, it's fine for them to, it's fine for them to exist. Okay, so this piece had one Egon session. Oh, I bet you can see the difference between this and this. It's never meant to be perfect. It's just supposed to be, it's just supposed to be looking like a clean piece of plastic. Yes, it's used, yes, it's old, and that just tells a story, but um, it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to have a layer of paint on it. I will go over it again, because it's a little bit patchy. You can sort of see some bits are a little bit, are a little bit um, shiny, some bits are a little bit dull. The whole thing, the whole thing will need going over again and then I still have some other tricks up my sleeve um, to kind of to blend everything so it looks a little bit more uniform pretty happy with that for a start um, yeah let's just get all of it done making a silly mistake because obviously heat will distort stuff and I took a pause I was um I was working on a bumper and then I took a pause and it cooled down and warped so I had a mild panic attack but we're fine we are okay I have clamped it um, I've clamped the points where I should have really looked at the way um, at the way everything was coming together a little bit better so it's my own fault but anyway I think we have everything under control I've clamped everything in place and now I need to just carry on doing what I'm doing I'll uh, I'll heat everything up again and um, and once it cools down it will just settle into its original place don't panic look at what's going on and then carry on that's a lesson for you all but um, yeah working with heat always remember that things will warp if you're not careful so just the slower you do this the better if there is a way of securing the part always secure it in some sort of a way the corners were fine and i was really i was really aware of the heat and the warpage on the corners but this piece just whew. but um yeah i'm gonna heat the whole thing up let it cool it should be fine whew. i've heated it up 
again and clamped everything down weighed it down so i'm hoping i'm hoping that little bit of uh, warpage that i started getting hopefully it's gone so let's have a little look yes yes we're good boys we're good we're good we're good we're good we're good we saved it all right we have saved it okay so i'm going to continue so you can see Hopefully you can see the contrast between the bits that are where I've been and where I haven't been, but um, I'm going to keep going. A bit more heat gun action. I thought the, the two pieces would stay together because there's a lot of screws that hold it together, but it just goes to show, always expect though the unexpected. though. I had a literal panic attack. Oh yeah, yeah. looking much much better like a standard OEM plastic especially from a little bit from like far away from like <clears throat> it was pretty good this stuff is literally from the pound shop it's like bumper shine but what it has in it is some um, some chemicals that are used in, in like cleaners so it's so it's like a so it's, yes it's a it's a plastic restorer but it works really well as a, as a cleaner what I like to do is work this into the plastic, literally with a brush, so it gets into into the texture of it, and leave it overnight. And then after, buff it off with a nice clean, um, with a nice clean rag, and um, and just use and use this stuff on top. This is primarily like silicon and some other and some other things. This is more of a protective type of layer. I've gone over the corners another time with a heat gun and they're looking a little bit better as well. They're a little everything is a little bit blotchy, but that's to be expected. Um, now we have to rely on some products to actually bring it all together a little bit better. The thing I 100 percent realize is that there are products out there that work wonders. Literally, you will like single application without doing any of the single application that brings plastic back like this, but um, they tend to be a little bit more on the expensive side and maybe a little bit further down the line I will actually test them out. Uh, but for now, um, for now this will do me. If you know a product that restores plastic like really well, drop it down in the comments, let me know. I'll um, I'll have a look at it and then maybe um, do a video on testing it out and stuff. But um, for now, this is perfect. This is just what I need. the blotchiness it's like if you look at it in the right light like from far away yeah it looks like from far away it looks absolutely fine but um, when you look up close it has like this little bit of a, of a weirdness to it but this is where these products come in you just need to um, just apply it let it sit and it kind of makes it a little bit better it's not gonna be perfect 
not going to be perfect, that's for sure, but it's going to be pretty good. So like here where we had all this blotchiness, we just apply this, let it sit, let the plastic absorb it a little bit. Pro tip number one, when you're using product, just have a look at what ingredients there are and just Google what the ingredients do and see what the hell you're even dealing with and then you will just be able to know what to use, when to use, how to be more effective with like random stuff. This is a pound and it does like such a good job of like cleaning up plastic and just kind of blending it all together. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. It's just chilling here. It's a little bit, little bit wet with that stuff on it. And I'm, and I'm just going to leave it alone and let it, let it soak it up overnight and then come back, clean it off and use the other stuff. See you in a little minute on to the next step. Okay, so they've all been wiped. And they're looking pretty good. Pretty good. What I've just realized, which is quite entertaining, is that um, I think at some point in its life, this bumper was broken because this corner isn't original. If you have a look inside of here, this is a Ford part, and if you look really closely, there is a slight color difference. I know it's going to be hard to pick up, but this one is like really black, and this one is a little bit, a little bit got like a browny gray sort of undertone to it. But um, you can see it in some lights that the colors are a little bit different. Like this one's a lot darker, but it's good enough for my house. I'm not complaining here. This is fair enough. Um, it's just quite interesting that this is. A legit Ford part and this is like I don't even know I don't even know whatever whatever this logo is if that's a logo much 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 better the main section the main section is still a little bit patchy in some areas but and there's a few little scratches and a few little imperfections especially under, underneath here there's some weird like texturing going on but Overall, overall, it's very, very good. Not bad at all compared to how it was. And yeah, and we're not quite finished just yet. Corners are held onto the main bumper with these um, just metal things that slide over over the two pieces of plastic. If you look here, they've, they've, we've got like these little square pin things, and they line up with this, right? So that goes like this, and the metal bits go over over the top of both of them and lock it into place. But what? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. There are these holes here. And I think there's supposed to be hardware in there, making sure everything is nice and tight. Because when I opened the bumper for the first time, it did seem a little bit, a little bit loose on the edges. So I think if I have these little stainless nuts and bolts, and if I just once everything is attached, clamp it, send the bolts through, and then you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying about that. A couple of little stainless nuts and bolts going through there. And just clamping everything together and that's worked out really, really nicely. It's really, really solid. Close the gap up really good. And it's, you see yeah, there's no flex in it at all. Yep, that's worked out really nice. I was going to originally replace the this trim this trim part that lives here but um, basically I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with this color maybe when the car is all together uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go with this color I might go with red I might go with yellow I might go with this um, original like gray silver type um, so yeah I'm not entirely sure so basically I'm just gonna leave it for now the bumper is very 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 nice but for the final final thing um, I've got this stuff, and this stuff is more silicon based. Let's give it a last spray of this, and um, 
give it a wipe down with my handy dandy microfiber cloth and that should hopefully be that okay brian smells pretty good actually this stuff it's not 100 percent perfect and it was never going to be but it's pretty good and i just really wanted to have this piece ready um i remember back in the day when these bumpers were literally people there was like a thousand of them out there and people were selling them for dirt cheap people were painting them breaking them whatever no one really gave up everything is becoming so hard to find and i just wanted to get a good decent bumper just so it's just so i have it before because literally i spent so long i spent so long looking for it and they're just getting more and more expensive i just wanted to get one restore it a little bit and just put it away so I have it and then maybe at a later stage if I come across a super perfect one I'll get a super perfect one I'll treat myself that's looking pretty good especially when it's um when you're standing a little bit far away from it and it's going to be low to the ground low on the car unless you're really really staring at it you're not really going to see any of the major imperfections or anything like that so it's come out really nice I'm really happy with it just a nice fresh plastic bumper with texture, not too many, not too many scratches. Just yeah, it just looks nice and good and clean and original. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Just to give you a bit of an idea of what it actually looks like, the front end of the car with the bumper on it is looking pretty good, I would say. gonna be um, when it's time to open it up it's just gonna be a bit of a, a bit of an occasion opening up a nice fresh part to go on a nice fresh car like unwrapping it it's just all like part of the fun really for me hopefully you picked something up from this that uh, will help you with your car or maybe you're just my mum watching my videos from seven different accounts so <laughs> Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day, evening, morning, whatever the hell. See you later.